So this is the 2019 Triple Foundation Tier Chemistry paper. So the first question gives you four different images of different smart materials, okay, and shows the unusual property. And then you're asked to fill out a table. So use when something changes colour with the temperature, that could be something like, okay, something like a thermometer, and that's thermochromic pigment. Something that can absorb up to 1,000 times its volume of water, that's nappies and hydrogels. Um, next question then asks you to look at nanomaterials. So nanosilver in dressings for cuts and burns is antibacterial. Um, and then nano titanium dioxide in sun cream blocks harmful UV light. Blank page, don't need to do anything on there. Um, then um, electrolysis of aluminium. So Monton electrolyte is a mixture of aluminium and cryolite. Okay, cryolite is added to lower the melting point. Okay, and the product that they make is molten aluminium. Oxygen is formed at the anode, which is a positive electrode. Aluminium is obtained from an ore called bauxite. The process of extracting aluminium is expensive because it uses a lot of electrical energy. Balance the simple equation that shows the overall reaction. So two times two would be four, so there's four aluminium. Um, 250 tons of aluminium ore can produce 195 of aluminium. Calculate the percentage of aluminium in one ore. Okay, so 195 divided by 250, so 78%. Put ticks in the box next to a statement that describes why it's more cost effective to recycle aluminium than steel or copper. The energy used to extract metals is greater than the use in recycling them, which is different um, when you are extracting aluminium because it's a really big change. You want to make sure that you recycle those. Um, the name the element in the air which reacts with sulfur, that's oxygen. State the process of catalyst, speeds up the rate of reaction without being used up itself. Name liquid A, used to dilute concentrated sulfuric acid. It's is going to be water, um, and that's used to make the oleum. Complete the balance symbol equation for the reaction, so you're making sulfur trioxide, so there's two of them. Um, calculate the percentage of sulfuric acid used in making plastics, so add them all up, 91, 91 take away 100 is 9. Okay, so this then is going to be sulfuric acid plus ammonia, makes ammonia sulfate. Um, complete the diagram to show the outer shell electrons of the molecule of water. So you can see there that hydrogen is going to bond to one oxygen. That hydrogen is going to bond to one oxygen. And then you've got two electrons either side. Put a tick in the box next to the property of water, which can be explained by the weak forces in water molecules with low melting and boiling points. Nice information then showing the electrolysis of water. And then you had to plot the points for hydrogen and label it hydrogen. Then it said to do the same for oxygen. So if hydrogen's 50, oxygen's gonna tap out at 25 because it's half the amount made. Twice as much hydrogen is produced in oxygen because there's twice as much hydrogen than oxygen in H2. Pick the letter which represents the reaction and it's gonna be D. There's water forming two hydrogens for one oxygen. State the process that doesn't state why this process doesn't work with a plastic spoon because it doesn't conduct electricity explain why the silver ions move towards the spoon attracted to the negative electrode and then that would be ag plus plus one electron gives you ag complete the simple equation for this reaction so the sodium is going to steal the nitrate and then you're going to end up with silver chloride put a next put tick next to the box which surprised this my miss put a tick next to the box Next to the statement which describes Bethwell's method works, silver chloride is insoluble, so you make that precipitate. Give the name of the process used to separate the precipitate of silver chloride would be filtering. Um, then it's working out the MR, so you've got one silver, one nitrogen, three oxygens, add it all together be 170. Calculate the percentage of sodium in sodium chloride. So sodium is one sodium, it's 23, the whole total is 58.5 times by 100 be 39.3 page um, then there is reams and reams of information here okay turn to the next page and tick the answers before you read through it all okay so put a tick next to the box that best describes the, the size of microplastics um, between five millimeters and ten nanometers plastic population has increased name the type of plastic most often found in arctic microplastic survey is raid okay um, put a tick next to the box next to the hypothesis which needs further testing by scientists. Microplastic carry contaminants by from the seawater into animals. Um, suggest a method for educating people on the hazards of bioplastics and the use of social media. 
Um, nice easy question there, molecular formula. So how many carbons? One. How many hydrogens? Four. How many oxygens? One. How many carbons? So draw it out. Remember, carbon has four bonds. Oxygen has two. Hydrogen has one. Naming that. So it's one, two, three. Propan. And it's all propan. All. Okay. Um, complete and balance the symbol equation for the reaction. So that every time you produce glucose with yeast, that's going to be CO2. Yeast, cat yeast acts as catalyst in the process. Give a reason why catalysts are written above the arrows in the equation. They aren't used up in the reaction. Explain one advantage and one disadvantage of using ethanol instead of petrol in cars. Less CO2 released by kg can't cause global warming. Um, disadvantage, less energy release that can't power the car. Blank page. Nice easy question then where you plot um, points. And then it asks you to find the maximum temperature rise. So it starts at 2.5, sorry, 21.5. Take away 28, we give you 6.5. Total volume, so that's the 25 plus the 25 give you 50, times by 4.2, times by the temperature rise will be 6.5. Answer there. Expect the final reading, it would have 2.21.5, it will go back to normal values. Plot and label graph B, and then it's going to be hydrochloric because there's a larger temperature rise. Um, state where using a temperature sensor would still give a lower than expected temperature rise. It would just give a higher re um, resolution, wouldn't change the temperature rise. Um, how could you change your expected values? Insulate the cup to limit heat loss. Name compound A. So compound A is going to be something. Plus hydrochloric acid will give you magnesium chloride solution. It implies that there's water, so it's going to be magnesium oxide. Give the name of the blue solution B and the gas formed in reaction C. So the blue solution is going to be copper chloride because it's hydrochloric acid. And the gas, because it's carbonate, is going to be CO2. Write a balanced simple equation for reaction 1. So you've got hydrochloric acid plus zinc makes zinc chloride plus H2. Make sure you top, swap, drop that. Reaction 1 was repeated using magnesium, so zinc. Explain the difference, if any, you would expect to see. Slower reaction, zinc is less reactive than magnesium. What is the general formula for the alkane family? CnH2n plus 2. Give the chemical formula for both products. Sorry. Chemical formula then would be H2OCO2. Completely burned means combust. Um, structural formula propene. And that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Bromine water is used to distinguish between alkenes from alkanes. Describe a colour change so it would go from orange to colourless. And there's additional pages, um, the periodic table, things like that, table of ions. This is really important, make sure you use it. And there's your periodic table.